Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here in New Orleans at SC14 at the Bull, which is an Atos company. We're at their booth with Pascal. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm fine, Rick. Well, good, good, good to see you again. Now, you guys made an announcement this week that involved Exascale. What is that all about? Yes, uh, Bull uh, made uh, an important, uh, a very ambitious Exascale announcement this week about our Exascale program. Um, our objective is to deliver the first Exascale systems designed in Europe, designed and developed in Europe. Um, now there is no uh, miracle technology that will that will get anybody to the Exascale. Um, <laughs> Yeah. It's more a matter of, of uh, working on all the components of the uh, global supercomputing environment, and it's the addition of all these that will of all these advances that will get us to the exascale. Um, also, we must keep in mind that exascale is not just about exaflops; it's also about exabytes of data. I think yes. we are really getting to the crossroads where HPC meets big data. Okay. Okay. So, these large machines are we talking? 2017, 2025, what is your goal there? What uh, I, I don't know either. <laughs> our goal, it will also depend on where our, when our, our customers will get the money. It depends also on partner technology. Right, so right. I don't think it's really important. I mean, is it 2020, 2021? Sure. You have to get ready now, and right. that's what we're doing. A lot of preparation involved. I get that. And, you know, Pastor, when I think about, you know, the global exascale uh, preparations that are going on, I see Europe as a leader on the software side. Bull and Atos company is a hardware vendor, last I checked. Yeah, well, well yes. help me out. Yeah, so our, our XSK program includes five main components, not okay. just hardware, not just <laughs> okay, software, okay. all of it. Yeah. So I will detail the, the five components. I all think right. this is going to be the answer to your question. Yes. So the first component is a, um, an, an, XSK, an open XSK platform. It's code named Sequana and it will uh, scale up to tens of thousands of nodes uh, and it's really the foundation for Exascale for, for Bull. Uh, it will be able to integrate successive generations of uh, d different technologies, CPUs, accelerators, whatever becomes uh, available uh, for maximum performance. And it will support um, state-of-the-art fast interconnects such as the Bull uh, Exascale interconnect. And this takes me to the second component of right. our program. Yeah, what is that? I mean, is that InfiniBand yeah. or what is B it? BXI, that's the code name for our uh, Bull Exascale Interconnect, uh, yeah. is a, well, it's a, an HPC Interconnect designed by Bull. Oh. Uh, yeah, we are uh, aiming to um, um, free up CPU performance by getting, by getting rid of the communication overhead that takes up so much CPU time today. Okay. So uh, that's the second piece of this. That's the second piece. What, uh, what is the third piece? <laughs> third piece uh, <laughs> is, uh, well, the matching uh, software environment. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bull Supercomputer Suite. It will be completely revamped, of course, to, uh, um, to uh, manage performance, data management uh, of uh, possibly millions of hardware and software elements. Sure, so, sure, of course, sure. it's an important element. Um, the fourth element is uh, it's a series of server um, that's the first model is shown on our booth. It's uh, servers dedicated to um, in-memory databases. So it's the first part of the program that will be available, first model available next year. Okay. It's a long way to the exascale. All right. All right, let me stop you there because a lot of people don't know that uh, when we talk about exascale, it isn't just exaflops, which is floating point operations. There is exaops, which is about more scalar things as well, needs to be there to make this a useful device. So is that where you're headed with that uh, fourth component? Yes, that, that's it. Okay, that's gotcha, exactly gotcha. it. Exops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the the fifth component, and it's really, I mean, I've kept it for last, but it's really most important, is a set of services to help our customers optimize their application for exascale, because there is no point in reaching the exascale if you just don't know what what how to efficiently use all this million way parallelism. Yes. Yes. Okay. So. And really just, uh, as a conclusion, I would like to say that Bull has been in HPC for more than 10 years now. Yeah. Uh, we are uh, now a, a major HPC player in Europe. Yes. And now that we are part of uh, Atos, of the Atos group, uh, we are entering a new dimension. Yeah. Because we are going to be able to leverage uh, the uh, Atos worldwide presence. They have uh, 86,000 uh, employees throughout the world. 
So we'll be able to leverage this um, to deliver exascale systems across the world and of course to deliver less than exascale systems, lots of them across the world. Oh, that, that's exciting. You know, for those that might know, here's how I see you guys from my perspective as a reporter. I see Bull as the vendor that the French Atomic Agency help foster to create the machines they need because they're on the road to building the first fusion reactor. I think you guys will be first there, but it takes tremendous computation to make that happen. Now you're part of Autos. It isn't about just France anymore, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, it, what you just said is it is part of the story, of course, yes, and that's yes. how we got to HPC. That's how we got started, right. and it's a very important foundation. Yeah. Uh, but it's not the whole story. Yeah. And now that we are an Atos company, uh, it will be much easier for us to develop and uh, geographically, especially geographically. Okay.